Hi, now in the previous tutorial what I did was show you what the Cartesian form of the equation of a parabola was. It was y squared equals 4ax, that was its format, where a stood for the coordinates of the focus. Remember the focus was this point here with coordinates a0. Now what I want to look at in this video is another form of the equation of a parabola. And it's the parametric form. Let's just write that in, the parametric form. Now with the parametric form it is given by the x-coordinate is always equal to a t squared and the y-coordinate is always equal to 2at. So in other words any point on here is given with coordinates a t squared comma and then 2at. This is the parametric form and I know it's the parametric form it works for this equation because if I just look at say y squared y squared would equal 2at all squared. And if I square this out, I end up with 4a squared t squared. Let's just write that in, 4a squared t squared. And if I look at the right hand side of the equation, 4ax, then 4ax is going to equal 4a multiplied by what x is, which is a t squared. Put that in, a t squared. And if I multiply this out, I get 4 a squared t squared. So you can see that this satisfies the equation. y squared equals 4 a x. They both give exactly the same result. So therefore we get y squared equals 4 a x. So we have up here the parametric form of the equation. Let's just put a box around that, okay? And it's important that you learn that result. Okay, so let's just show you how we could use this. Let's just come down here. Suppose we had a point on a curve. Let's say if 3t squared 6t was a point, let's say is any point on a parabola, okay, on a parabola and our question then is to find the equation, find the equation of the parabola. So how would I do something like that? Well I'd write down first of all x equals 3t squared and would also have y equals 6t. And I would label these two equations, let's say 1 and 2. And when we're trying to find the Cartesian equation from parametric equations, what we do is we try and make t the subject. And it looks like equation 2 here is the easier one to work with. So I'm going to say that from equation 2, if I make t the subject, then t is going to equal y divided by 6. And now I can simply substitute this, let's say sub for short, substitute that into equation 1. So when I put t equals y over 6 into 1, I end up with therefore x equals 3 times t squared, y over 6 all squared in other words. And so I therefore have x equals 3 y squared over 36. And I can reduce this, I can cancel it down because you can divide 3 into 3 goes once and 3 into 36 goes 12 times. And if I multiply both sides by 12 I end up with y squared equaling 12x. And there's our equation for our parabola. We could have got to this result a lot quicker though if we know that the equation of a parabola has the form y squared equals 4ax 
and the parametric coordinates are 80 squared and 280, clearly you can see that A must have been the 3. So y squared equals 4ax, we could have just done 4 times the A value, 4 times 3, which would have given us the 12. But nonetheless, I just wanted to show you how we can get the Cartesian equation for the parabola when we've got the parametric form. Alright, 